Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Today I thought I would come on and do a haul video. Um, those seem to be the haul videos that you guys like best. And I love to shop, so they go hand in hand. So let's get started. Um, I hesitate to call this an Ulta haul. What it really is, is um, a bunch of mad shopping done, of things that you really don't need, um, don't really want, but because you have a 20% off the entire purchase, you buy. You just, it's it's a time, so for our friends and family is similar. It's a time where there's so much stuff, everything looks good, you don't need any of it, but you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get it right now because I have this 20% off the entire purchase and like I'm going to die if I don't purchase so many things. So that's what this is. This is a bunch of stuff that I saw for the first time there and I was like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. I must have it today. So let's get started on my Ulta haul. This is my major, major bag of stuff that I bought. So I'm not going to like take um, things out one at a time because I know how annoying that is with the crinkling of the bag. So. They are all out now, so you're not going to hear that annoying sound anymore. So let's get started. It's in no particular order because the mess is just on the ground now. So let's get started. I'll tell you about each and everything. Um, I have tried two of the things already, and they're already on my face. So let me tell you about them. The first thing I purchased... Let's start with the two things that I have on currently. The first thing I purchased is by, by who? By Maybelline. Master Graphic, Master Graphic, okay. So this is like a liquid slash dry cajol. I think it's under the liquid eyeliner category. Um, if you look at the packaging of this, and I threw it away because I've already tried it on. It's in my garbage upstairs, but I didn't want to fish it out. It is a very thick, uh, like a felt tip pen. And it's called graphic because you can do a very thick wing. What attracted me to this is obviously the angle so that it's easy to do a wing. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Benefit, uh, the push-up liner, which I was not a fan of. Um, this is pretty good. I hesitate to say that it's too fat. Like, I've only used it once, and that's today, because I went purchasing all these things today, because um, I went shopping today. Um, it's just too fat. I don't like it. Um, I do like the angle of it, but it's just a little bit hard to work with. And also, I find that the formula is a little bit dry. So on my little crepey aging eyes, it doesn't go smoothly across. And I think I still prefer a wetter formula. And that's why I'm still um, a wet and wild um, liquid liner girl. Uh, the price is cheaper. The formula is better. It's wetter. It's darker. It's blacker. And although it doesn't have this point, I can work with it. Um, I don't look at my eyeliner today and think this product made it so much easier and looks so much better. In fact, I think that that's a better product than this. So first impressions. That was a really, really long little intro for that. Next up, another product which I have just tried, which is on my eyes today, another Maybelline product, is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And it's in this beautiful, beautiful color tube. Um, it's almost like a dark um, plum blush color. It's beautiful. And I have to tell you, I'm really, really impressed with this uh, mascara. So, I mean, I've only used it today, but I'll come close and you can see my lashes. Um, I'm really impressed with it. It has like a butterfly fan effect. And here's the brush. I'll show it to you. You can see it. So it is a curved brush. And um, I actually prefer 
I think I've come to the realization that, um, I mean, I do like to layer my mascaras, but for the final, um, what am I trying to say? For the final volumizing layer, I do prefer a fan uh, curved brush. And the reason is because of the shape of my eye. I just think that that um, is more flattering and that seems to work better for my eye shape. So anyhow, I really like that. So those are the two things that I have already tried today. Some of these are repeat purchases, but these two are not repeat, just repeat purchases. I just have first impressions. Next is a repeat purchase from ages, ages ago. Um, and I did buy this a little while ago, but I used to love this and I bought it a few months ago and I love it still. And it's by Burt's Bees and it's the Radiance line, uh, specifically the Radiance line. This is made with royal jelly and um, this is their facial cleanser. And this is a beautiful, beautiful cleanser. It is just, I mean, it smells so wonderful. It's very, very uh, refreshing. And I feel like it has some like mild exfoliation um, going on in it. It has some like small little beads in it. Nothing at all harsh. I mean, you wouldn't feel anything. Like this is not um, a major exfoliant or anything like that. But this is a beautiful, beautiful cleanser. So this is the third time I'm purchasing this and I just love it. I really, really do. Um, going right along with that, I purchased the Burt's Bees Radiance Night Cream. I used to use the whole line, the cleanser, the day cream, night cream, and eye cream. And um, unfortunately, Ulta was sold out of their day cream. Uh, they had the day lotion there, but I didn't want that. I wanted the day cream. Anyhow, um, so I didn't purchase that, but this is the Radiance Night Cream. This also is a, you know, the lighting sucks. Okay. Um, this is also a divine product. Um, the whole line is just beautiful. Just, just, just beautiful. And I should have opened this before, but of course I am not that organized that I would do such a thing. Um, this is what it looks like. It comes in a jar. Again, the lighting sucks because it's already five o'clock here in Chicago, so I don't have a lot of natural light or any natural light, so it's artificial light. I'm so sorry, but um, I want to start using these products, so I wanted to get this haul up for you. Again, the Burt's Bees Radiance Night Cream, a beautiful, beautiful night cream. Really just very, very calming and nourishing. I really, really love it. Um, hand in hand with that, it's the Burt's Bees Radiance Eye Cream. If we, I have very, very sensitive under eye, uh, under eye area. Sorry. The scary, scary email. Um, I have very, very sensitive under eye area. Um, I have very, very sensitive under eye area. My under eye area is extremely sensitive. So like products that have a retinol in them and uh, acid in them, they really, really irritate my under eye area. So much so that it starts getting puffy and red. Um, that of course never stops me from trying new products. I just suffer as a result. But this is a product that is beautiful, the Radiance Eye Cream. It's very, very gentle. The smell is beautiful. Um, this is a very, very much worth the price. I mean, and that made it sound like it's so expensive. I guess what I was trying to say is for the price, this is worth it. I mean, I do use some medical grade um, skincare as well. But if you're not able to afford the medical grade or um, and you don't want to just use something out of the drugstore, you want something a little higher end, um, but the quality is really good, I highly, highly recommend the Burt's Bees Radiance line. Not the other lines, but the Radiance line. All right, that is enough about the Burt's Bees. Let's talk about uh, something else. A, uh, should we stick with skincare? Yes, let's stick with skincare. A product that um, I have heard nothing about, but while I was walking around, looking through the aisles, thinking, what can I buy? What can I buy? I need to buy everything. Um, I came across this, um, and it's by uh, Philosophy, and it's called Back to Nurture, and it is a deeply replenishing oil jelly. 
And um, if you watch my videos, you know that my holy grail exfoliant is the micro uh, delivery dual phase um, system. It is a beautiful exfoliant. It's the best one out there. Nothing beats it. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. If you use that product uh, on your face once a week, and especially if you've never ever used it the first time you use it, you will touch your face and you won't even believe that it is your skin. You will think, oh my God, like your skin feels like, like a newborn. It is the most spectacular product out there. I, I mean, I'm going to go as far as to say it is the best product in Ulta. Let's put it like that. That's an exfoliant. It is just amazing. And I've been using it for years and years and years. And a product that they used to have was a replenishing oil, which I loved. They have since discontinued that. God knows why. And I used to use that after I did the um, exfoliant. And it was just so soothing. It was a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, it, it was an oil and it just seeped into your skin. It was lovely. This is like that. Um, it's like an oil. It's not like an oil. It's almost like a mix between an oil and a serum. And it's so soothing. It's It, it almost has a kind of like a Smashbox um, primer feel to it, like a silicone feel. It has that feel to it but it doesn't leave a coating on your skin. It sinks right into your skin. So it starts off like a gel, but it turns into an oil and it emulsifies and it blends, just soaks into your skin. It's beautiful. I've never, um, I've never even heard of it, but obviously there was a like a tester out there and I put it on my hand like I just did for you. And I was in love and I thought, oh, I need to buy it because I have a 20% off. So that's what I did. It's beautiful. I mean, I can't wait to use it. Um, to go along with that, what did I buy? Here. To go along with that, I'm trying to keep it in some type of order. I'm already at 12 and a half minutes. Um, to go along with that, I bought the Back to Nurture, um, and this is a replenishing moisture cream. And this is like a moisturizer. It doesn't have an SPF in it, also by Philosophy. And it's just, you know, I mean, what is there to show you? It's a jar. It's a moisturizer. Um, Oh my gosh, this is like, I can't even open it. Oh, I did it. I am strong. And here it is. Um, I'm not sure what you're going to get out of that. But when you take this and you put it where you have, you put that oil on and you put it into your skin, all I did is I put those two products, I layered those two products at Ulta and I walked around. And, you know, I was in there for a long time because obviously I wanted to buy the whole store. Um, the more I walked around, the more this product kind of seeped into my skin. I went, I was like, I love it. I just love it. I have to buy it. And forget the fact that I bought the Burt's Bee stuff. I needed this as well. So, because I don't know if you know or not, but I like to change up my skincare depending on my mood and my mood changes all the time. I am a Gemini, so... Uh, my mood is constantly changing and therefore I justify buying tons and tons of skincare. So um, I really like that cream and I can't wait to start using that either. Uh, next up is a product by Yes to Grapefruit and it is their CC cream. And this was an impulse buy, as was everything, but um, the reason I bought this is... Um, it is a, what, 95 natural or paraben free, you know, it's a natural product. More than that, the reason I bought that is I am obsessed with grapefruit. I love grapefruit. I eat grapefruit almost every single morning. I love the scent of grapefruit. I love grapefruit. I love grapefruit juice. Um, that being said, if the grapefruit is bitter, it sucks, but um, ruby red grapefruit is divine. Um, and I love the Del Monte um, already peeled um, 
grapefruit, you get it in the fruit section it, and there's no sugar added. And I usually eat that every single morning with some pomegranate or some that mixed with some strawberries and I make a little fruit salad. I love grapefruit. So that's why I bought this. And that is the only reason I bought that because it says yes to grapefruit CC cream and it was enticing. So this is the first time I'm actually even trying to get it out. Okay, and this might be too dark. It says light to medium, and that's it comes out like that. And it is very moisturizing, which it should be, right? Because the CC cream. Um, you're not going to really be able to see that, but it leaves a sheen. Um, a very, very slight grapefruit scent. In fact, if I was being honest, I don't really like it. Um, this might be going back. This stinks. <laughs> I love grapefruit. This doesn't smell like grapefruit. This has some sickly um, grapefruit scent, which I really hate. So I'm about to, unfortunately, take that back. And I know that there's people on YouTube that are going to be like, oh my God, you just opened it. Well, there wasn't a sample there and I don't feel bad about returning things because I'm not just going to return that. Um, I'm probably going to take it back there and exchange it for something else. But this, I will not be able to wear because it really, really stinks. And after I do this video, I'm going to go and wash my hand. Um, next up is um, Bare Minerals. This is the Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I'm sorry this video is getting long. Um, get a drink. We've still got a few more products. Um, this, again, is an unnecessary purchase, um, as they all are. But I tried this on in the store, and it's just like a tinted moisturizer, and it blended really nicely into the skin, and so why not? <laughs> That's why I bought it, and I thought... I was on a shopping spree so these are things I wanted to try and I justify it by saying I wanted to try it for all of you and give you all reviews is that the truth probably not the truth is probably that I had a 20% off and I went a little bit overboard so I bought that to go along with that I need something to apply that so this brush that was from bare minerals came with not came with it but you know they recommend you use that with that they recommend you use this brush with that tinted cream, and that is why I bought this brush. So next up, there's a few more things. Uh, let's talk about some repeat purchases. Um, the Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. I swear by this. I have tried other products that, um, like finishing powders, like the Primed and Poreless, the Elf, um, the Derma Blend, the uh, Young Blood, all are very good. Nothing compares to this. This is like an airbrush for your face. I swear by it. I tell everybody about it, and I'll never, ever be without it. So this is in translucent, bye-bye pores. In fact, uh, my mom, my parents who live in Toronto, um, I called her and I said, do you want me to pick you up anything? I have a 20% off. And she said, you know, just some type of a... Uh, powder and I said oh I'll definitely get you what I use I love it and so I bought her one as well so one for me and one for mama so that's crazy right they both just fell um, so that um, also a repeat purchase bare minerals matte in the color medium beige I swear by this I love this um, after my foundation or BB cream whatever you have I always top it with a mineral powder, and a lot of people love the Laura Mercier. Uh, I don't, and I think I don't because I think I don't have the right shade. I have tried Classic Beige. That looks way too muddy on me. I have tried the Natural Beige. It just doesn't look right, and I've tried Rich Vanilla. There's something off about all of them. Um, and I just love this, and I've decided to stick with this because this works wonders. I love it. So Bare Minerals Matte um, Medium Beige. We're coming down to the end. 
Um, repeat purchases. Um, this is by It Cosmetics. This is the tight line. I love this product. I've talked about it before. If you want a natural lash or just an everyday thing to separate your lashes, beautiful. Also the It Hello Lashes, an amazing, amazing mascara. I love them both and um, I bought them. I needed to buy those too, but they were drying up. Um, also for my mom, she was complaining about having bags under her eyes and I was very enticed to, um, I heard, um, who was it? M Michelle from Makeup MLC talk about an Estee Lauder. Um, she did an entire video on an Estee Lauder, like something with a little tip and she demonstrated it on her eye and like bags just disappeared. It looked like a miracle product, 125 bucks, which is worth it um, to buy my mom. But I thought we'd try something cheaper first and see if that worked. And if not, then we'll go that route. And this is by Benefit. It is the new Puff Off. And um, it's supposed to de-puff your eye bags. So let's see if this works for my beloved mom. And uh, if it does, good. And if it doesn't, we will go the Estee Lauder route. Um, so let's, I've got those. I got two NYX or NYX products. Um, one is this... Um, gloss. You're not going to be able to see it, but um, this is in the color. I don't even know what the color is. I'll need to look it up, but it is this beautiful nude color. I love it. Um, it's a very, very nude buff neutral color. It's gorgeous. And just to go with that is this, uh, the lip cream, and it's in the similar color and I absolutely love this. I swatched them both in my hand and I was in love. So I bought that. Um, next up is a in shower body lotion and I heard a Marnie from Miss Gold Girl talk about this. I believe it was this product. I love um, Marnie's videos. I follow her. I watch every single one of her videos. I just love to watch her. Um, Nivea in shower body lotion and um, I'm excited to give that a try because I'm a very very lazy person about putting on body lotion um, I go through spurts of yes I'm gonna moisturize yes I'm gonna scrub and then I go through phases of let me just get out of the shower and get ready so this is a product that has enticed me especially because I don't need to rub it in and stuff I can just wash it off and I hate feeling greasy or um, I'm not going to say that word that everybody hates, but I hate just feeling goopy and stuff and putting clothes on. So I thought I'd give that a try. And finally, a palette, because I was walking around after all these things, and I thought, I don't seem to have a palette here. So I don't know who that is, but um, I'm not going to answer it. Um, a palette. I don't have a palette in my bag of Ulta goodies, and how can I walk out of Ulta without a palette? So I debated between a few of them. Bare Minerals has some really nice ones that have come out, the posh nudes and the whatever nudes they are, and I like those. I also always, always debate the semi-sweet chocolate, chocolate bar and the chocolate bar palette. Also very enticing was a Too Faced palette. Um, I think the Naked Eyes looked really nice to me. But I ended up with It Cosmetics and this is the Naturally Pretty Celebration Matte. And if I can open this, I will. These, I mean, I was going around swatching them. If I can open this. Hold on. I'm sorry. Why do they make these so hard to open? Oh, I got into it. All right. So it's beautiful packaging. I'm going to blind you. Here it is. And I swatched these colors on my hand and I was in love. In love. Um, and Really, I have the other It Cosmetics palette, and I love that. So look at this palette. It is gorgeous. I'm sorry the lighting sucks, but 
just trust me, it is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, all the colors are so buttery and so smooth. It is just divine. Pigmentation is A+. Plus. So um, I am excited to give that a try. And believe it or not, that is it. That's all I bought, just those few things. So um, that's how I use my 20% off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've made a video. In fact, this is my first video of the new year, but I'm excited to be back. I'm hoping to get onto a regular uh, schedule making videos. I have just been terribly, terribly sick, like deathly ill. I had the flu, which just kicked me down. And then I went to uh, Vegas with some friends. And so if they're watching, hello to my beautiful friends. And um, I also have another beautiful subscriber, and that is Angela. So I know she watches my videos, and she is my hairdresser whom I adore. So um, she does my hair. She's wonderful and friendly, and I would go to her even now, but I'm not going to go to her because I have been using Olaplex in my hair, which I have really, really been enjoying. And unfortunately, they don't do Olaplex at Ulta, so I'm going somewhere else that does it because I'm trying to bring my hair back to life and it's slowly working. But as soon as Ulta brings in Olaplex, which I know they're trying to do, I will be back there with Angela to do my hair. So hello, Angela, and I will see you soon. Um, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you are. I'm going to go and pick up my little monsters from preschool now, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. I love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.